Hi and welcome to the Orcs Mega YouTube channel. Today I'm having a look at the KHDK number one overdrive which is this pedal here. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the brand, the KH stands for Kirk Hammett and the DK stands for David Caron. Now I'm sure most of you are familiar with Kirk Hammett as one of the guitarists out of Metallica. You may not be so familiar with David Caron. He used to work for a company called US Music as Artist Relations. Now US Music designed and built guitars for Washburn and Anson Randall among other things and he was uh, involved in the artists and getting what they wanted into their sort of signature gear. And many years later Kirk Hammett and David Caron got back together to form KHDK and come up with some great uh, unique sort of design on classic pedals they've got. This was the first one that they uh, designed the number one overdrive but now there's five in the range there's uh, a couple of overdrives, clean boost, a high gain distortion and fuzz. Um, so let's take a close look at the number one overdrive. This pedal is uh, a take on a sort of classic overdrive, but it covers quite a wide range of styles from anywhere from sort of a boost through to blues to hard rock and right up to metal. Um, it's quite an easy pedal to understand. You've got four controls, gain, volume, bass and treble. And in the middle you've got a high and low switch for the amount of gain, so you've got low gain or high gain. Uh, but one of the most unique features of this pedal is that it's got two gain stages. The first one is controlled by this uh, gain control and the second one is shared with the bass control. Now you might think that's a bit strange but it actually works really well because as you turn the bass up the gain turns up as well and it gets quite hairy at the sort of the top end but because you're turning up the bass as well, it sort of tightens everything and doesn't get too fizzy or flabby. Sounds amazing. So we're going to have a quick run through of some of the sounds that this pedal uh, can create. I'm going through the Laney Cub 12R. I've got a blue Encore 100i mic and I'm using my Jackson uh, Dinky. Okay, so here's your clean tone. Okay, I've got the pedal set on low, the gain just less than halfway, the bass about a bit less than that uh, for a sort of bluesy lead tone. It's still on the low gain switch, but the gain's cranked a little bit higher. Okay, still on the low side, gains at maximum, bass is cranked up a bit for some classic rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, this time I've cranked the amp up a little bit, so I'm fairly distorted on the amp and I'm just going to use the KHDK uh, to smooth it out and give me a little bit more grunt. Okay, this is with the pedal off. Switch in the pedal. Okay, so I've switched over to the high gain um, sort of setting. Uh, gain's at halfway, I've backed off the bass and treble a bit, so it's sort of bluesy again, but with a bit more sustain. <laughs> All 
Right, so we're heading into sort of metal territory here. We've got the gain all the way up, bass almost up, uh, still on the high gain side of the panel. <laughs> Okay, we're cranked up now on bass and gain on high gain setting. This is a little take on uh, a riff from Kirk's old band. <laughs> Okay, there you go, that was the KHDK number one overdrive. As you saw, I think it covers a massive range of styles, it's very versatile, and I didn't even use a wah pedal. I'll catch you on the next Aux Mega video.